Hey guys TLC here, and welcome to Pathway, this is my first time playing this game. But I'm sure we will have a lot of fun. In a provincial backwater a few miles beyond Casablanca. This is the last outpost of civilization. Beyond this point is nothing but merciless desert. Morton is out there, somewhere. Pathway is a turn-based strategy game developed by Robotality. It was free on Epic Game Store about a year ago, and it's been sitting on my computer ever since. But I never got around to playing it, till now. This will be a series on my channel for the entire month of November, I actually really like strategy games, and this is the first one we are playing on the channel. I will be posting a pathway video every Monday and Friday at 6 p.m. till the game is beaten, this episode will be a little late. The village is ruined and long abandoned, but its well has not yet silted up. Some rest might be good right now. Even though we just started I decided to rest. You use the break to care for your wounds. A simple meal completes your stay, you continue your journey. The small village seems deserted, but then you hear muffled hammering. You follow the sound and come to a small workshop. Its owner, a tinker, is so absorbed in his work that he only notices you when you are standing in front of him. You enter into conversation and the man invites you to a simple meal. When his gaze falls on your worn clothes, he tuts reproachfully and insists on mending them. You enjoy your host's date cakes and mint tea and swap travelers' tales while the tinker fixes your clothes and equipment. By the time you take your leave, your clothes are as good as new. You thank him profusely, but the tinker gestures modestly. Up ahead of you, a detachment of German soldiers are hunkered down in a military camp. They have spotted you and are taking cover behind their sandbags. Moments later, they open fire. For battles I'm going to let them play out, but if the videos are too long I'll speed them up. I'm going to speed through the battles this episode, let me know if you want them at regular speed. If you are enjoying the video so far leave a like and subscribe.
the gravel road you have been following for the last few hours finally peters out. Slowly and laboriously you slog your way through the sand dunes. Suddenly, your jeep gets stuck in the sand, you gun the engine in vain, kicking up a fountain of sand. You're stuck. I got distracted so I'm gonna speed through this part. Drenched in sweat, you work tirelessly to free the stranded car as time marches on relentlessly. Eventually, you manage to maneuver the jeep to more stable ground. The journey can finally continue. It is not until much later that you notice that you lost one of your ammo crates in the sand. The old radio you noticed next to the tree turned out to be completely broken. You start your engines again and leave. You see a lot of tire tracks in the sand in front of the lonely desert temple, so you enter carefully and with weapons drawn. Your prudence pays off, in a temple chamber, you take a lone sentry by surprise. You quickly disarm him. You question the soldier about his mission, but the man is not inclined to help you. Just you wait, sooner or later my comrades will be back and then we can all talk together. You bind and gag the soldier before searching the temple chamber. But the soldiers who were here before you were very thorough. You find nothing of value. You leave the temple disappointed. The villagers welcome you as a rare and welcome diversion. They proudly lead you to the village chief, who also owns the only shop in the settlement. You hear a shout and see a group of soldiers who have been resting in the shadow of a temple, you rush for cover.
The camp in the ruins ahead of you seems deserted, until you realize the truth, you have fallen into an ambush. You are stopped by a lonely camel crossing the road. You let it pass and continue. You are startled by loud, excited shouts. You approach the source of the commotion and spot a squad of soldiers entering a desert temple. You wait a few minutes and follow them. You come across them again in the central hall of the temple. They still have not noticed you. After an endless drive along dusty tracks, you hear a disturbing rhythmic clatter from the engine, moments later it dies with a tortured howl and your jeep slowly rolls to a stop. You stare at each other in alarm. Natalia tears open the bonnet to let the engine cool down and peers at it, brows furrowed. I think I know what the problem is. A few minutes later, you are driving along at top speed again. Tire tracks in the sand and a shiny film of oil on the waterhole tell you that the Germans stopped here recently. As expected, the water turns out to be undrinkable, but among the palm trees you see something far off to the side, glittering in the desert sand. Curious, you examine your find, it is a silvered cigarette case with the engraved initials ML. It can only stand for Morton Lombard. There's no doubt in your mind, he left this as a sign of life for you to find. Morton has clearly not given up hope of rescue, but will you find him in time? Sorry but you won't find Morton here. The voice comes from somewhere in the shadows of the abandoned house you were about to search. Alarmed you draw your weapons, 
but the stranger who appears in the doorframe merely waves nonchalantly, surely you wouldn't shoot an innocent man. Perhaps I should introduce myself. Agent Cooper, of the SIS. Morton was working for our, organization. He was looking into the matter of the Armenian collection. It looks like he managed to break into Nazi office in Casablanca, but he doesn't seem to have gotten very far. I'm afraid that's the last I heard from him. So we have no idea what he might have found. Does the wrath of God mean anything to you? No. Well, perhaps that was too much to hope for. Just between us I think perhaps we can forget all hope of seeing Morton alive again, but please don't let me dash your youthful optimism. With these words, Agent Cooper climbs into his car. With a curt nod he speeds off into the distance. You discover telltale footprints in the shadow of the temple. You hear a noise and spin around to find half a dozen rifles pointed at you. You have fallen into an ambush. You take a short break when a sudden shot shatters the silence, fountains of sand explode at your feet. You immediately take cover and scan the rocky landscape with your eyes, but you cannot see the shooter. You rush out to scour the surrounding area but your search is in vain. Warily, you continue your journey, but the mysterious attacker does not strike again. You see the fortified base of the excavation regiment southwest on the valley plain ahead. You have finally reached your goal. As you are considering how to make it through the heavily guarded entrance, you suddenly spot a lone wear mock jeep approaching your vehicle. You hide behind the rocks and wait for the patrol to disembark, then you take them by surprise and tie them up. A short time later, you drive into the German camp wearing borrowed uniforms. The bored-looking sentry waves your Wehrmacher jeep through with barely a glance so far, so good. Disguised as German soldiers, you search the camp complex, Morton must be here somewhere. Your hearts race as you pass unnoticed through the crowds of enemy soldiers. You suddenly notice a small motorcade setting off. As it drives past, you spot Morton in one of the cars, you immediately jump into your capture jeep and tag into the end of the convoy as it exits the camp and heads into the desert. After a few miles, the convoy stops at a smaller auxiliary base. You see Morton being led away you don't have much time. Your friend's execution is imminent. Suddenly, you hear a shout, you have been discovered. You look at each other with grim determination and load your weapons, this is it.
We lost this time. Bet we will save Morton this Friday so tune in next time. And thanks for watching.